everyone, I'm Miriam Sandler from Motherhood, and these are my daughters, Nicole and Emma. Do you want to tell them how old you are? I am eight. And I am five. Welcome to Begin With 15, our friends at Begin, one of our favorite learning companies have challenged us to see how much we can learn in just 15 minutes. Should we try it? Yeah, let's do it. For this activity, you're going to need a notebook, something to write with, and something you can fill with water, like a bowl or a bin. And if you have younger ones, you can totally do this at bath time. Okay, now I'd like you guys to go around the house and collect three items that fit in this bowl, but could get a little wet. All right, go. Okay, let's begin. It looks like you guys gathered some awesome items. What do you think we're gonna do here today? Um, I think we're gonna test out which one floats and which one sinks. You got it. First things first, we need to fill our bowl with water. Let's add just a little bit more water and get this experiment started. Whoa. Let's start by making a list of all of the items that we gathered and then make a prediction if you think it will sink or it will float and then we will test it. All right, Emma, it looks like you got a toy carrot, a rock, and a shape toy. Should we write them down? Do you think this toy carrot will sink or float? Float, okay, let's write it down. This is just for prediction and then we're gonna test it. What do you think about the rock? I think it will sink. Sink. And what do you think about the shape? Float. All right, Nikki, how are you doing over here? What did you get? I was doing the right here first. I think it will sink. Okay. And then it looks like you have a pacifier and a little mermaid. Mm -hmm. What do you think the pacifier? Do you think it'll sink or float? I think it will float. And what about the mermaid? And I think that will... Okay, we'll test them out. We'll see what happens. All right, Emma, should we start with the carrot? Yeah. Okay, let's see if it sinks or float. I know it's going to float. <gasps> it floats! <laughs> Why do you think the carrot floats? Because I noticed that that is so soft that it won't get on the bottom. Do you think it's lightweight? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. It moves. Yeah. Okay, Nikki, pick one to try. Let's see. I'll try the pacifier. Okay, do you think it's gonna sink or float? Float. Float. All right, let's see. Float. Oh, it floats, but it almost went to the bottom. Yeah. Why do you think that it floats? I thought it would float because um, it is lightweight. And it is rubber. Yeah. All right, Emma, you're up. Which one are we doing? The rock. The rock. It sunk! Why do you think the rock sunk? Because it's too heavy that that it takes down the weight. Yes, I think so too. I think this will float. You think that's one will float? All right, let's give your sister a chance. Pick another one. The reindeer. Reindeer. Okay, your prediction is that it will? Sink. All right, let's see. And float! What? what? <laughs> why did you what? think that it was going to sink? Because it's heavy. And why do you think it didn't sink? Because it's plastic. Yes, it's plastic and it's probably hollow in the center. So it doesn't sink. Wait, wait, so, wait, 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 look, look, say, look, 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 look. I think it sunk in the end. Let's move the rock. Let's see. Yes, it sunk. It sunk! It sunk! You were right! So um, at first correct? it was floating okay. and now it's sunk the because the air float? bubbles in the center got all filled up. So now they've sunk to the bottom. Oh my High God. five. Yeah. All right, last one, your shape. Go for it. It floats! Oh, Why do you think it floats? Because I noticed that it didn't have weight to go to the bottom. It didn't it, have weight, yeah. But it did have weight to, to float. That's right. Can I change my prediction quickly? You want to change your prediction. All right, guys, we I are having a change of prediction here. She thought that the mermaid would sink. And now she thinks the mermaid is going to float. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Let's go. Let's see. Sink. 
It did. Wait, wait, wait. So it looks like the mermaid has sunk, but is also floating by the tail. This is probably due to weight distribution. What a cool object to test this experiment with. So I guess your prediction was correct, correct both times. Yeah. That is really cool. I love all of these observations. It is awesome to see the items around our house in a different way so we can stay curious and learn about. Now it's your turn. Let's see how much learning you can do in just 15 minutes at home. <laughs> Grown-ups, get more inspiration on how to use your 15 minutes of learning as a family at beginlearning.com forward slash 15 minutes. All right, girls, good job. You did a great experiment today. That was a lot of fun. Don't forget to share your moments of learning on social media at hashtag begin with 15. See you next time.